Now, Germany's banks may have got the all clear, but there are worrying signs of weakness in Europe's powerhouse economy. Growth in the second quarter went backwards, prompting calls for Chancellor Merkel's government to do more to stimulate growth and investment. With markets already jumpy, there are fears that if Germany doesn't change its ways, the Eurozone could be dragged back into recession. Europe correspondent Barbara Miller reports from the German capital. Learning how to do things the German way. The engineering giant Siemens attracts recruits from all over Europe to a three-year paid training program, ending in something many young people on the continent can only dream of, a job. The program they've offered and the, the amount of time and investment they're going to be making in all of us is amazing, I think. The future for these young apprentices seems bright. But overall, Germany's lack of investment is starting to bite. In recent years, Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel has been seen as the Eurozone's saviour, Germany the powerhouse of a struggling continent. Now economists are lining up to ask whether the woman nicknamed Mutti, Mum, may have been smothering growth. Germany fails to recognise that the relative health compared to the rest of Europe doesn't mean that it's doing its homework and that economic policy is right and Germany needs to do its homework, it still has a lot to do. Germany is now predicting growth this year of 1.2%. That's down from 1.8%. The revised figures for next year are similar. And that's on the back of a second quarter, which saw the German economy shrink by 0.2%. And a significant slump, 6%, in exports in the month of August. Those figures are causing jitters on the markets. And there's concern that the third quarter figures could show another contraction. A negative third quarter for Germany will not be the end of the world. We still have a decent rate of growth of above 1% for this year and next year. But the much bigger worry for me is that we get into a phase of stagnation over the next five years. So growth rate within the euro area but also within Germany of below 1%, so too little to really reduce unemployment sustainably, too little to allow banks to uh, improve their balance sheets, too little to allow companies and private households to reduce debt, and ultimately too little for also for governments to reduce debt. So the biggest risk I see currently is one of stagnation. But the German population is not too worried yet. I think the economy in Germany is uh, still, still good. I have a good feeling. At the moment I'm a bit concerned because if people think it's bad, it is bad. Well, they're probably less optimistic than they could be because Germans like to whine or complain. At Siemens, they think the German way will prevail. I'm not worried. German quality, as the saying goes, is good quality. That's the thing I find about German, the German approach is that what we're learning is it's got to be perfect. When you're doing something, it can be half a millimetre out, but that's still that's, that's too much. But if the wheels don't start turning soon, Europe could be facing another recession, one some will say was made in Germany.